On you guys, us. We are filming in what's this? Portrait. Why are we filming in portrait? No. Portrait mode. Portrait mode. Whereas when we film in landscape, we have to go really far from the screen and the mic doesn't work so well. Because it gives us just the right size camera. You can see toes to head nice and easily. Why the front two knuckles? Seiken means proper punch, real punch. The same way Caesar means proper sitting. I saw this crazy guy on YouTube. He says, yeah, well, yeah, do whatever. So the reason we like these two knuckles is that when they're aligned properly, you have that whole bone structure. Okay, minus my hypermobility. Hut! Uh oh, that was a bit wrong. Wrong hand. Those of you who saw that I don't make bloopers, I've made about six already. Since Zoe was fibbing, she deletes them all. That's why your sensei is going to nag for the rest of your life to punch properly. Hands break easily. Woo! Because you don't come out of the womb with fighting skills. These are the forearms that Chi-Chi built. It's so much harder when you don't have a partner, isn't it? Here's my trick for making sure you don't fall over in Zypher. Three. Uh, 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 uh. Patience is a virtue. So one, intercept, grab, pull, groin shot, push him away. When I get tired, Brian trains hard. I'm a bad, bad sensei. <laughs> Two, three, four, and hit. Check. Oopsie. Your soup spoon, your pasta, your pasta fork, or. That pasta scooper that looks like this, I forget the name now. But what you are teaching your body is how to maneuver in such a way that you can use the least amount of effort to apply the maximum amount of damage. Yes, do what your sensei says. As Sensei Jagger just reminded me. Uh, 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 patience is a virtue. But for the rest of us mere mortals, and I'm at high right now, I would say, at third down, I'm not really ready to start breaking the rules. I don't know enough yet. The hop is not part of your grading. This is very ineffective. All you look like is a crocodile. No crocodiles. But if I pull my fingers back and I use my heel palm, minimum amount of effort, but three times the effect. Do we want any filters for funsies? No, not really. Is there a filter that makes your karate look better? If you don't know which one, ask your sensei. It's really hard when somebody's got their hand around your neck, they're choking you. How do you breathe in? Through your ears? Your skin, you're not an amphibian. Our dojo has got punch bags and uh, makiwara, full body makiwara, hula hoops. We got some serious training equipment. We got sledgehammers. I've got quite a few. I think there might be about 20 sledgehammers. These were the punch bags we used as a child, and today we use them for groundwork. Um, if you have a look around, we've got quite a substantial training space. It's approximately 121 square meters. Focus pads, we have chishi. Last count, I think I have about 100 chishi of various sizes, from dinky little half kilogram all the way up to some monsters. And if you've watched any of the videos with Sensei Zoe, you would have seen that. We have got lots of kettlebells. We use these as ishi shashi. We have something called a lollipop, which is a piece of electrical plastic tubing conduit with a bit of foam, what we call a poo noodle. We've got some toys, we've got bags, we've got weighted bags, we've got vests, terror bands, weights, piles and piles of weights. These were accumulated. We even have skateboards. Skateboards are, are terrible items of training. Power. For what I'm doing comes from my hips. Like a great man told me, to teach is to learn twice. I'll stand you like your very own personal Greek statue. He goes for my face. Pull, hit, strike him in the groin. Bad sensei, not Kiai. He's obviously texting while he's doing the childcare. Because we're a modern couple. We split things half and half. And if you're a beginner, this is where power comes from, not from the shoulders. All right, let's get on to punches, uh, what karate is really famous for. It's like, you know how actors get famous for that one movie, even though they've done a whole lot of other movies? 
In that way, karate has also become famous for stuff that is not the entirety of karate. And anyone who knows the bush, the bu words are hard. The Busaganashi statue. I want you to imagine a teacup, dainty little teacup, and a saucer. All right, dear copy, Piran. Don't do that. You sound like you're being strangled. Everything is diaphragmatic breathing. And whenever you go back, I, we, I know we've got students joining us from all over the world. Go back to your dojo, you do what your sensei says, and you stick to the rules of your dojo. That's the whiteboard marker. Mm. Live streams are so much fun. She pick one, two, three, kiai. She never say kiai, that was terrible. Karate is like a kitchen. It has many, many, many tools in it. And even though you may only use some tools, it helps to know many tools. Because sometimes you need an oyster shaka. Someone brings over oysters, you need an oyster shaka. Do whatever your sensei says, please. Remember, it's like I tell y'all the whole time, hips don't lie. Ha, huh. I knew subconsciously I had something planned. One, two, bend. Maybe he puts up a hand. I pull his hand and I elbow with the other arm. Don't let anyone tell you that karate is only for striking. We were here before MMA, we've been having it. And uh, do what your sensei says. I will ask Sensei Jagger maybe to film a Tensha Bunkai video. I can't raise one eyebrow. I love Tensha, I think it's a brilliant cutter. I think it's great for teaching you symmetry, but it also teaches you mawashike. It teaches you elbows and rotation. Some people do use the top of the head, but his nose is right here. The problem with top of the head, I mean, I lose a lot of power once I come to the top of your, his head. What I do want to do at the top of his head is grab his head. Now I'm doing the application from Cyphers. Four punches here, some six. Do what your sensei says. Most common mistake is this hand drops and it's like, Hadouken. Mm, that one. I think so. All right. Now, if you're new, you don't have to worry about the hip vibrations, but remember, these hips don't lie. I need a little bit of space. Straight punch, nothing. So that's why that funny little step. And the gyakuzuki. Phrase in our dojo, you steal with your eyes. And I think Sensei Stan Schmidt, who was the father of Shotokan in South Africa, said, steal with your whole body. And immediately, second punch. Gyakuzuki punch, knee, strike. Please, always return to do what your sensei says. Because fresh air is not great for your joints. Bag is important for your joints to condition. Every time you hit the bag, what's happening is the joint gets jarred and the body says, well, maybe we should put a bit more collagen in there. And the joint grows a little bit stronger. The dojo mask is too big for his little face. Do what your sensei says. Okay, he punches one, left hand. One, two, groin. You take the groin, the face comes forward, face. And that's all you need. Hey. The one metaphor I like is like Sensei Miyagi used to be famous for tearing strips of beef with his raw hands. Raw beef with his hands. English is my English is buffering today. Uh, the dojo motto as far as YouTube goes, do what your sensei says. It's important to fail even if it's public, although I might bring shame upon my senseis. So I like the idea of using the lines that you're kind of looking at in the cutter for your bunkai. I don't know if you've cottoned on to that. Uh, so you can't talk and do cutter at the same time apparently. From here, a little bit of a bullet time with the matrix kind of vibe. Some of the students watching this channel were born after the matrix. If you're a beginner, do what your sensei says. When you're first learning into kiai and you're very shy, just say the letter A. You develop your own sound that is unique to you over time. Eventually people will hear you loud and clear at a gushku. Here you're gonna need, you know, chishi. <coughs> chishi exercise. Kicks. Very briefly, now I will admit kicks are not my strong point. My husband is the born kicker. Me, I've had to learn. The most important part is that this is a series of ideas that can lend themselves to individual wormholes. Little rabbit holes, like watching Alice in Wonderland. 
you go down. And as you explore your karate, you find the most amazing things in some of those little rabbit holes. Cypher! He punches. I go past him. One, two, three. Looks just like the cutter. There's that hand and there's the other hand. And I get him there. If I really want to be more vicious or he's too tall, I use Konsetsu Gary there. If I'm really feeling vicious, now, nah, double naked rear choke. Because Murphy's Law, you'll do it a thousand times right by yourself, but the minute Sensei is watching, you fall over. So we always say there's two parts to every test in karate grading where, where we're working. Um, a, do you know the answer? And B, how neat is your handwriting? Write each and every single letter neat and tidy. So don't slur your letters together and the handwriting looks like a drunk spider going across a page. Putting your hand somewhere and hoping for the best. It's not a, you don't make wishes in karate, you make things happen. How far can you push yourself until you get exhausted? And every time you get closer and closer to that edge, when you do one more rep, one more rep, you become much fitter, much stronger, much faster, much better. But more important, we're not just building your karate. We're building your character. And in building your character, you become more and more of a solid person because you'll take more crap from other people before you react. You wanna see hip vibrations. What have you heard me say a million times? These hips don't lie, so. As this leg goes, this hand made. This one comes back. Okay, whoops, I think I've done something wrong there. Let's go again. For our uh, fellow millennials and Gen X, don't cross the streams. I just got told to stand closer to the camera and got given the big finger. When you are learning to cook, you do not start with souffle. You start with boiling an egg. If you do this, and you hold your breath, what's gonna happen is your body is gonna get very tired very quickly. Don't hold your breath for power. Okay, you don't have to think about breathing, but you do have to train your breathing. Keep your mouth open so you can breathe on each technique. Like our channel says, do what your sensei says. He's strong this way, he's strong that way. He's not strong this way. With a little finger, I can pull him backwards. You add that and a foot. Thank you. Take this arm here. Take his head, his ear or something. Well, he's got nice hair, look at this. Oh man, I remember when my hair was like this once upon a time. And this one's a fun one to say. Naka daka ken. Ah. Now, the fancy term for this in terms of sports science is called kinetic link theory. And it is best exemplified or example is uh, Throwing a baseball, baseball, pick up the leg, transfer the weight, throw the ball, follow through. Okay? In doing that, a large amount of the body is activated, very heavy parts of the body that require a fair amount of energy from the person. But when they pick that leg up and they're rotating and they start to rotate the hip, that energy, if you can conserve it, gets transferred through the entire body until it leaves those two fingers that are on that ball and gets transferred to the ball. It's like one of my previous senseis said, punching, kicking to the head is like punching to the feet. The closer you get, the more exciting it gets and the better the bunkai gets and it's 100%. It would be great if I could read my own handwriting. Y'all know I love a whiteboard. Let's go over to the whiteboard for today's theme for our class. Some will be more like you're picking up a dead mouse by the tail. We go here, don't lead with your face. Please look after your hands, especially since many of us are knowledge workers and we need to type. I believe your study of Sanchen as a junior is critical. And your study of Tensho as an adult and as a senior is critical. But doing the cutter is not the same as studying the cutter. 4 a.m. I'm honored that you, you're all out of bed this early for our little channel, thank you. I used to take a pillow or two pillows or three pillows and I used to stuff them into one another because I didn't own a focus pad. And I used to get my mom, by the way, my mom's about yay tall. I used to get my mom <laughs> to hold 
And then I used to uh, practice my kumite techniques on that. Obviously, I was a young 18, 19 year old. So, uh, and it was for sport purposes. So the control factor was very much a tipping action rather than a full-blooded punch. But I at least got the idea. Okay, how did we stop this? There we go. There's a, I believe it's a Shotokan concept. Genkai no Made. I could not find a reference for it, but usually my husband knows what he's talking about. Leave nothing behind. And when you perform kata at your base level, you should leave nothing behind. The other options are makeshift makiwara. Okay? Take a belt or two, pillow, sponge, mattress, tie it up, hang it up somewhere so you can head into it. Okay? And then you train super, super hard. And you have some fun. Remember, the comfort zone's a nice place, but nothing grows there. And I learned this from Sensei Mary. So from here, bring your feet together in between your moves. So don't do this. Because now, look, I'm facing the complete wrong direction. Oh, I made a mess. Start again. Ah, human error. Let's try again. Ah. Seppai, that touch to the back does suggest hip throw. The hip throw, when you're learning, grab here, grab your partner around the waist, butt in front. From here, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you can drop that nakadaka cape on your partner. He's here. Wrap that hand over and straight down. So from here, one, whoop. Now, Brian, the question is, how do we end this? Have a great evening, wherever you are in the world. Take care, stay safe, be kind. See you soon.